dropped. Dakota Dixon. The big moments don't scare him. The big moments don't phase him. Broken up! It's broken up! The struggles that Dakota's went through, uh, it really puts things into perspective for him. I grew up in a little bit of a, a tough a little situation. Dakota grew up in Miami, and his mother had mental illness issues, and Dakota was removed from the home at six and a half. Eight months later, he moved to New Smyrna with his father and I. When I got to move with Beth and my dad, I felt rich. You know, we didn't have no uh, rats in the house. Uh, we had, it was a refrigerator, we had a sink. We could take a hot shower, things you take for granted. Dakota's father had issues with drugs, and it got very out of control at that point. When my dad went to rehab, I was in like fifth grade. I knew that I needed to leave, and that Dakota said, well, I'm going with you, and his brother said, me too. Blood didn't really make a difference. Beth, you know, she, she's just always been there. She's always been there. That's why I call her my guardian angel. She always been there. Even now, she always been there. When we moved to Oak Hill, Oak Hill adopted us all. I've known Dakota's family my entire life. I knew his dad from the same hometown. Probably not 1,500 people live there. Just one of those places where when you drive by somebody, you wave, when you walk by, you speak. Just a very close-knit community. Well, when Dakota first got here, he, he wasn't very trusting. He wouldn't say a lot. Uh, he was very much introverted in himself. You really didn't know a whole lot about him except the fact that he played with an aggression that most kids his age don't play with. It was different. It was much smaller, but didn't make a difference to me. I was happy. I was around good people. I was around family. Dakota's father returned to his life when Dakota was in seventh grade. He was at every football game, every single game I had back then. Because uh, before, I, he wasn't. But then he started coming, especially in ninth grade, like for high school. He was at every single game. He traveled wherever we had a game. October of his freshman year in high school, he passed away. It was a really, really tough time for Dakota. I feel like he got snatched, like just out of the blue. I was very mad, very angry, very angry. And thought about quitting football for a minute. I had an attitude of not caring about nothing. 